Good afternoon, students. Um, in last lecture, I discussed uh, about different type of uh, softwares. So, uh, software it is a, a set of instructions, and uh, there are uh, two. Uh, when we discuss the different component of computer system, then in these uh, components. The first one is hardware. It is the first component of your computer system is hardware. Second one, it is operating system. And third one, application software. And fourth one is human wear. So these are the four components of your computer system. And uh, in this, uh, with uh, there are different type of uh, softwares. Okay, there were only chapter number three that is linked with the softwares. The chapter is type of uh, software. So there are two main category of uh, categories of uh, softwares are. Number one, system software, and number two, applications, application software. So system software that are uh, this uh, the, that are very much important for the smooth running of your computer. Without which your computer system will not work properly. And first is system software. It, re, uh, it refers to the program that uh, control internal computer operations. So with the help of system softwares, we can control the internal working of your computer system. Clear? So in system softwares, we include three types of uh, softwares. Number one, operating operating system number 2 the uh, the language processors or translators and third one utility So operating system, it is an interface between a user and uh, uh, interface between user and hardware device. Okay, uski bit me interface ka kaam karega. That is operating system. So aapka operating system, aapki computer files ko manage karta hai, aapki computer ki memory ko manage karta hai. So work of operating system is storage management. Then memory management. Me memory management means me management means RAM ko manage karega. Story management means hard disk ko manage karega ki constant kahan pe save hogi. Uh, it provides us hardware management. So with the help of operating system, you can get the work from hardware devices. Okay, these are the some common. Function of operating system. Examples of operating system: Windows Seven, Windows Ten. Then, in the case of uh, mobile phone, Android, Unix is there, Linux or Unix, uh, Linux is there. Okay, there are different type of operating system. So, uh, the device. Which we we want we need, want to use must have operating system. उसके बाद हमने discuss किया था language processor और language processor में हमने discuss किया था कि there are three type of languages low level language then assembly language then 
high level language in the low level language it is a zero and one and uh, in the beginning when the uh, computer invented we used binary language क्योंकि कंप्यूटर को इंस्ट्रक्शन आप बाइनरी लैंग्वेज में दोगे वन और वन जीरो की स्ट्रिंग में बट उसके बाद आपके पास असेंबली लैंग्वेज आ गई जिसमें आपने क्या किया कि सम कोड्स रिप्लेस्ड विद कोड रिप्लेस्ड विद सम सिंबल्स बट आफ्टर दैट प्रेजेंट टाइम वी आर यूजिंग इंग्लिश लाइक लैंग्वेजेस इट मीन्स हियर वी आर यूजिंग द इंग्लिश लाइक वर्ड्स सो दीज लैंग्वेज द कंप्यूटर कैन अंडरस्टैंड ओनली मशीन लैंग्वेज ओके तो कंप्यूटर के जो नॉलेज में है कंप्यूटर जिसको रिकॉग्नाइज करता है वो एक ही लैंग्वेज है उस लैंग्वेज का नेम है आपके पास मशीन लैंग्वेज तो आपके पास वेर एवर यू आर यूजिंग असेंबलर यू विल हैव टू ट्रांसलेट ही असेंबली लैंग्वेज इनटू मशीन लैंग्वेज विद हेल्प ऑफ असेंबलर सो देयर आर थ्री लैंग्वेज प्रोसेसर और ट्रांसलेटर नंबर वन Here is assembler. Second one, interpreter. Third one. It is compiler. It is compiler. Now, uh, we'll uh, differentiate interpreter and compiler. Yes, Jia. Difference between interpreter and compiler. Yes, uh, Dia want to give the answer. Yes, Dia Handa. Sir, interpreter converts a uh, high level language into computer language line by line, whereas compiler converts high level language into machine language in one go. Yes, Peter. Good, Peter. Very good. And um, one more thing, compiler always create machine. Uh, suppose I have uh, one file uh, C in C plus plus. Suppose file name is abc dot cpp. This file is in a, a high level language. But when I compile it, I will have abc dot exe file. Which file will be a machine file, a machine level file. So this file will be called as abc dot exe file. So this file will be called as abc dot exe file. So this file will be called as abc dot exe file. So this file will be called as abc dot exe file. So this file will be called as abc dot exe file. So this file will be called as abc dot exe file. So this file will be called as abc dot exe file. So this file will be called as abc dot exe file. So this file will be called as abc dot exe file. So this file will be called as abc dot exe file. But interpreter interpreter में ऐसा कुछ नहीं होता. Whenever you want to use the program, every time translation is there, but no any machine file created. So that's why interpreters are slow and compilers are fast. Okay, this is the main difference between interpreter and the compiler. So I am writing some difference, uh, uh, some points regarding difference. Assembler uh, here is interpreter. Here is a compiler. Line by line translation. There is complete program at a time. Line by line means starting from the beginning. It will compile first line. It translate first line, then second line. If any error occur, it show the error. That error. Remove that error. Go to the next line. But in the case of compiler, it will show the complete errors from your uh, your program list of errors. And if you remove that complete program compiled in one go, then interpreter is slow. Compiler is fast. No machine, no any machine file is generated. Okay, machine file नहीं बनती यहाँ पे. Means no exe file is created, but in here exe file is created. Next is example is C plus plus. 
Here, we, uh, example is Python. In Python, we are using interpreter, but C++, we are using compiler. In some languages, we use both example is Java. Clear? So this is the main difference. So after that, assembler convert assembly language into machine language. But present time we are not using assembly language. That's why assemblers are not available. Interpreter and compiler, both of these translate the high level languages into low level language. Here is interpreter convert line by line and the compiler uh, translate in one go, complete program in one go. So this is the main difference between assembler and interpreter. Now utilities. Computer utilities are very, very small uh, programs or applications that make your, uh, 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 your working in your computer system is more, uh, you can say, comfortable. So it provides uh, or efficient. Okay. So these are very small sort of programs that, that increase your efficiency. For example, in uh, your uh, Window 10, there is accessories. Okay, in accessories, there are different uh, small, small programs like calculator is there, there is a command prompt is there, notepad is there, then uh, there is a, uh, here is magnifier is there, narrator is there, on screen keyboard is there. All of these are utilities. These, these are preloaded in your computer system. It means whenever you, you installed Windows 10, accessories are automatically installed. Clear? But in your book, there are very, very limited uh, utilities are given. And that is not uh, of Windows 10. Windows 10 is not so much link. They have told overall. Hua hai, okay? These utilities are overall. It means these are available in all the operating system. So first one is, so now we are going to discuss the third type of uh, your system softwares. These are called utilities. So first I am typing the uh, meaning of uh, utilities definition. These are Application that perform that performing housekeeping functions like backup. Or scanning, okay? These are all the different activities. You have to provide out, uh, provide uh, effective uh, working of your in your computer system. So first one is number one, disk folder and file management software. So in this, we include all the small applications that are used for disk folder or file management. Okay, how you can manage your files or folder in your computer system or in your device. Clear? So there are different examples are given in your book. These are free commander. Explorer. Plus plus Pathfinder directory Oops. So these are different examples given in your book beta. These all of these are disk folder or file management softwares. 
Now, next one is uh, here is uh, I'm giving one example. Here is a window explorer. Uh, if, if I click on desktop, the different files are displayed here. Okay. So I click on C drive. Here is a one folder. I click there and it shows different files. So up, up, skip through. Will, uh, in, a, in window 10, there is a window explorer. Uh, you can control all the different uh, folders, subfolders, and files. Okay. So up, you can see the file ko copy. Kar sakte ho. Drag कर सकते हो कहीं पे भी आप इसको release कर सकते हो ठीक है तो this is a one of the way for uh, managing disk folder or file management ठीक है इसको आप manage कर सकते हो यहाँ पे next is the next uh, uh, utility is number two these are antivirus software. So antivirus software, these are uh, one uh, provision to stop virus entry of virus in your computer system. So antivirus software uh, stop the entry of a virus in your computer system. Uh, we will have to download it uh, from internet or uh, we will have to get its uh, soft copy from uh, any from, uh, computer vendor and when we install this software in your computer system when any virus come in your computer system it will it show the alarm okay it show this is a virus and it can de uh, delete that file or freeze that file so this file could delete because of there this file comes freeze because of there antivirus software so there are these are called virus scanner or cleaner so there are different uh, antivirus softwares available in a uh, window these are uh, window 10 these are preloaded okay window defender okay preloaded antivirus software defender okay so next one is in your book there are different antivirus software given here not a Antivirus. There is McCafe. Yes, uh, Ashmit, uh, any doubt here? Uh, sir, I've asked. Yes, my voice is not audible better, Ashmit? Yes. Sir, I'm telling the anti yes. example. Ava. Okay, you want. Okay, give the examples here. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, I've asked. Vast. Very good. There is a quick heal. Okay, McAfee antivirus. So there are number of uh, antivirus softwares are available. Clear? So according to your need, you can buy it from vendor. Okay. So McAfee uh, antivirus is there. Then quick heal is there. In your paper, there are some questions like uh, write down any four antivirus softwares or write down any four disk folder or file management softwares like these questions, okay? Next is number three. Uh, there is number three, third type of uh, software. These are called encryption. Slash decryption. So, better encryption and decryption the softwares are used for encrypt or decrypt your data. When your data is uh, uh, plain data, when we encrypt that, that data will become cipher text. It is called cipher. So cipher text means a tech, uh, data that is uh, uh, not in a readable format. Okay. 
So converting your data into non-readable format is called encryption and decryption is totally opposite. It is called uh, converting your data into uh, readable format. So encryption and decryption uh, use some keys and with the help of that key, we can encrypt the data and with the same key, we can decrypt the data. Clear? So there are different uh, encryption and decryption uh, so, uh, softwares are available. Okay. For example, in your book, there are some examples are there like last pass. Then bit locker. Then Vera script. Then seven chip. Then semantic endpoint. Encryption. So uh, these are only three type of uh, uh, utilities are given in your book, but in but in reality there are number of uh, utilities. For example, Here is disk defragmentation. Okay, this is also a utility. System restore, it is also a utility. Any student, what is disk defragmentation? Yes, beta, any student, beta. Disk de uh, defragmentation. Who will tell? Yes, quickly, beta, class 9th B and 9th B. Jia, any doubt here? Jia, is it without uh, disk defragmentation? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It means to reorganize separated fragments. Yes, very good. But uh, into uh, yes, sir. I'm just, uh, just giving one example. With the help of that, it will be clear better. Your definition is correct, one better. So there are a number of utilities. I'm giving one example. Uh, for example, this is your hard disk. Okay. And uh, you are making one file or usne computer ki ye memory cover kar di, file A. Ne. Okay. File A. So, I make computer make or file when I so file B covered this area. Now you create another file that is C. So, C file A area covered. Now you make some changes in. File A. So, अब क्या होगा कि file A same है पर उसके अलग एक अलग segment खुल जाएगा क्योंकि वो continuity में नहीं आएगा. Files are same, but there are different segments. तो ऐसे बेटा आपके computer में जब आप files को update करते हो, there are different segments are targeted. तो ये आपके computer system को slow कर देते हैं because when you open file A, different segments are there that pick the different segment from your hard disk. And show in the screen, it takes time. But defragmentation means uh, rearrange your files segments. Is it a file will be used to a key segment when they got a file to say reorganize over up your pretty hard disk different segments ready to hang it or a key segment may Sarah get out of it. This is called defragmentation. Did you clear? 
Yes, sir. Okay. Now, next is the picture clear with us? Go get it. Concept clear with us? Defragmentation. Okay. So now, next is application software. Okay, students. In your computer system, except utilities and operating system, all other app programs or softwares are application softwares. It means these are not preloaded. You will have to install them. Okay, according to your requirement. For example, I need a uh, word processor. So then I will have to install Office, and inside the, that uh, Office. There is uh, MS Word. Clear? In the same way, if I want to use a, a spreadsheet, I will have to install Excel. So, you have these application softwares are not pre-installed in your computer system. You install them according to your requirement. तो आपको इंस्टॉल uh, आप करते हो इंस्टॉलमेंट तभी ये आपके पास कंप्यूटर सिस्टम में इंस्टॉल होंगे तो देयर आर द मीनिंग ऑफ एप्लीकेशन सॉफ्टवेयर्स आर इट इज द सेट ऑफ प्रोग्राम्स नेसेसरी टू कैरी आउट कम operations for a specific specified application we so, specific work ki karte hain so there are different types of application softwares first one general purpose application specific purpose application software third one customized software these are also called best for softwares so okay, beta general purpose application softwares beta these softwares are for large number of person these are not for uh, according to the requirement of a particular person so ye जनरल होते हैं फॉर एग्जांपल अगर आप एमएस वर्ड इंस्टॉल करते हैं तो माइक्रोसॉफ्ट आपसे ये नहीं पूछेगी कि आप किसी की रिक्वायरमेंट है क्लियर सो दीज आर फॉर जनरल पब्लिक क्लियर इफ दीज दीज सॉफ्टवेयर फुलफिल योर रिक्वायरमेंट यू इंस्टॉल देम अदरवाइज अनइंस्टॉल देम ठीक है तो ये जनरल पर्पस होते हैं इसका कोई स्पेस ये आ, किसी एक पर्सन स्पेसिफिक पर्सन के लिए नहीं होता उसकी रिक्वायरमेंट के बराबर नहीं होते दीज आर फॉर जनरल पर्पस ओके सो नेक्स्ट द एग्जांपल्स आर इन द केस ऑफ जनरल पर्पस एग्जांपल्स ऑफ जनरल पर्पस एप्लीकेशन सॉफ्टवेयर देर आर वर्ड प्रोसेसर Okay. Then there, uh, there are spreadsheets. Then database management. Okay. 
system. Then graphics, multimedia, and presentation. Software. Okay. So these are general purpose application software. So in a word processor, we can create document. Okay. This may have a document create a you know, office use, you can type the letters, you can type the uh, applications. So here we can do the work with the text. So we can create and uh, we can uh, uh, edit and format text in this type of uh, softwares. Examples, word perfect, Abbey word, okay, then uh, open office dot org, writer, okay, then if you are uh, if you are using uh, uh, the, if you want to use online software, online word processor, then Google Doc. So this is online. So these are the examples of. Uh, uh, then there is MS Word. Example is MS. Word. So these are the different uh, uh, different uh, uh, the word processors. Okay. Then the next one is spreadsheet and then uh, database management system. Then uh, uh, presentation software we discuss tomorrow with. Okay. So if you have any doubt, raise your hands.